everyone this is Anne I am back tonight with the last three kits that will be available on my Etsy shop that I didn't have time yesterday so this is one kit of three items I'm gonna start with this envelope so it's one that I kept for myself I did a couple like that this is a vintage fabric with cute little soft blue flowers really really cute and uh, it's just an envelope with some parchment paper that has been coffee stained inside it this is a reproduction of the first page of an antique book and I love it. It's kind of a aqua beige aqua. Even that mark there. It's really like, I love it. It's going to be in a digital that I'm preparing. It's just, I've been sitting on it for months now. <laughs> I'm almost there. I have kits like that that I work and I forget about. And I have to go back and I get disturbed with something else. Another project and... It just goes like that. So a small booklet where I've been added, adding some things that you, you saw in previous videos. Like uh, all those uh, sample cards, I kind of included a bunch in my projects. It's a good filler. This too will be in a kit just a card like that it's 3d embossed here and a couple of papers pockets this ready to be glued somewhere but I instead of gluing it I just added it to a pocket so it's for you to to decide on which page you want it so just tiny booklet like that just to feel <laughs> just to fill the envelope so cute things to embellish now I also included that nice sample of fabric uh, that I did in a previous video it's just that it matches the colors because this this is kind of a blue and aqua uh, bundle and mostly related to sewing, because this one is more sewing theme. So what I've been doing is, if you unwrap it, the, um, the chiffon silk is the signature, so you cannot remove it, but it's long enough. And the cover, it's that embroidery pattern from my sewing kit. Um, and I didn't glue that because it contains, it's a tag from the kit that has been printed on both sides. And this is kind of a layers of fabric. <laughs> you have a silk embroidery that I did and a cute vintage color. It's a color, um, lace, if I can say. And I've added those charms. Just look at this one. The iron for ironing, scissors, and just beads. It's really cute, I found, and it was related to the team. Of course, you can remove and place somewhere else. But then when you do, if you want to do the closure, the kind of lay down with the bow here at this level so this is for the cover now inside oh this should be in the pocket I guess a simple card because you have a pocket here so a simple card and look at that it's, I love that pa that paper I don't use it often because I, I kind of forget about it paper doily and then all kinds of papers, different sizes, different shapes. And because it's related to sewing, 
I glued down this cluster. So you can open this, this one too. I love that one. It's a tone on tone and I, I just love it. Here I added, oh, this is just not really a booklet, but, and you have an embroidery to glue somewhere. And it just goes like that. It's simple, it's not really decorated on each page. It's really for someone that wants to do the work but have like a, a structure, a base to start with. So the papers are there, the pages are there, you have some ephemeras, decorations, and you do the job. Because you know, if I, if I decorate every pages, it takes time. It really takes time and then the prices are are ranking too up too high for my I don't wish to have big prices I cannot spend six hours and sell that $30 you know <laughs> these are my simple cards they're not folded they're they've just been um, distressed with the ink ready to be folded and add some laces so i put two in that pocket so it's really like a sewing team mini journal look at that and i love this aqua colors but you have other colors too so it's blue and aqua and i oh there's nothing in that pocket that gorgeous sample because it's all related to sewing this is crafty me shop laces this one too and this one is vintage this one is new uh, so it's a it's a cute sewing related sample card just floating like that between pages And it goes like that. Uh, this is this is a pocket, corner pocket. And I just again I added like an invoice and a card, but I, I didn't glue them or anything, so you can use them separately. I love that book. It's a sewing book, really old. It is vintage. It's from the 60, 1960 and it's in French so because of course the books I have at home in my family are in French <laughs> these are kind of papers that I bought already printed so I just distressed them a little bit and included them because they were cool but they're not vintage, they're not mine, they're just reproductions, I guess, that I bought on the internet. And the last pages, and you have a pocket here too, to add more stuff. So you just do, you put down the tag, the fabric, and a little bow that can be more on the side if you want and you put those charms like that and here you go this this is really nice looking so this is a set of three in the blue and aqua colors now going back to pink this is a big set I, there's four items, so shipping might be a little bit more expensive, although uh, I find there there's a minimum cost for shipping and then it stays within the same ra range uh, for a while, so maybe it's going to be the same shipping cost, I'll see, I'll see in a few minutes. <clears throat> but they're all in the pink and they're all decorations in the same style so my last uh, 
glycine bag that I've been inspired from Embellish the Story um, channel with the glycine bag with the flap that you saw in my previous video. And this one has the bird. So I guess it's the one that I did. Yeah, it's the one that I did the tutorial. So there's the tutorial uh, with me showing you how to do exactly this one. All right. Now I included, this will be, it's a project I did with uh, girls from my church. And I wanted a quick and easy project to do. Um, I've been inspired by Redeemable Junk Journals channel. And it starts with a lunch bag, as you can see, that you fold into three. And so you have a pocket here, and I added like a little embroidery there. And in the middle, you have a booklet, like cute papers. And you have another pocket where I added a simple card with papers and laces and that gorgeous Crafty Me Shop lace. And that that's all. It's just a little mini booklets of pockets, actually. And there's a closure like that. So it's a project that I did with uh, little groups of girls and their moms from my church. They all enjoyed it so much but i created a couple myself because i had different groups so i thought i could just include this one in this bundle now this one it's just a pocket of ephemeras so in this pocket you have a lace holder with fancy fancy uh, yarns you have an embroidery, it's been glued there, uh, it's been stitched there though, um, although you could unstitch it and get it back for something else, but anyway. And in the main pocket of the bag, you have, of course, a simple card with Crafty Me Shop laces and fabric, really cute. You have um file folder from one of my kits and inside it i included that simple card because there's the woman there so i thought i could add it there and this is one of my dear mama dear mama kit um in the kit, you have it in blue, in pink, and in purple. So this is the pink version. And I printed it on a coffee stain paper. So it looks really vintage. And then I just dressed all the folds. And I folded the paper like all <laughs> not straight. So it looks old. And that paper with those cute corners to be used somewhere. If you don't have that punch. And then I did this. Uh, those. They are part of my sewing kit. Um, cards kind of. And I added some laces. Look at that. And they're all. Um, backed with parchment paper. That has been coffee stained. So you can write down some journaling. At the back. Or just use them. As a cover or to decorate a page. So these yummy things are in this pocket here. So really this pocket is, is an ephemera holder by itself. And, and then the last item is that uh, envelope junk journal that I created with the chiffon silk signature so if i open it i did a tutorial with this one 
so and I added some decorations I wanted to decorate it um, on camera with all of you that's what I said at that time but <laughs> I changed my mind uh, maybe I'll do another one later but I have so much ideas and of other things to do that I thought I could just decorate it and show you the end result so just a piece of paper that I glued on three sides and it created a pocket and then I can add a little sample card easy to do added like a fabric ruffle and it goes like that laces and embroidery here this one and a glycine bag that has been decorated like that where again i've put some sample cards ready to be done to be used another cluster here that has been glued and in the pocket you have this card with the beads i don't think there's anything else there yeah and just papers embossed paper here so it's a simple booklet and i didn't want to list just the um, the this tiny junk journal i used to do that in the past <clears throat> but i can't do that anymore because the shipping rates to ship to usa and international has changed in december and now i need to ship even just a tiny uh, booklet like that, a tiny junk journal like that, I used to be able to, to ship that in an envelope. So the shipping was really less expensive. And since February, uh, since December, I need to ship it like a package, small packet. And it doubled the price of the shipping. So I find, you know... Uh, I need to give enough in the bundles so it values the shipping. This is how I think. So the bundles are a little bit more expensive, but at least you don't pay shipping for, you know, if you if you pay, let's say it's Canadian price, but if it's $10 Canadian to ship something that is $35 or 30 some dollars, like it's not worth it, I find. So this is why I created bigger bundles. They're more expensive, but you have more for your money and you pay less. Uh, the shipping rate at the, at the end is, is better. This one, although, will be uh, a smaller um, bundle. So it's just pockets of laces, simple cards with a cute oh there's two this one is with papers okay so oh yeah okay because there's there's three pockets that's what so it's an ephemera holder kind of and you have this one this was a project that i did uh for happiness and crafting so you might have saw that one if you are following me since a while. I added some decorations though. So here it's a little envelope and it contains, oh, it's a paper clip. A paper clip. And I added this actress. I love her. She's so cute. Vintage style. Because you have two pockets here, so... One is filled with the actress picture and I embossed, 3D embossed with the flower, the rose. 
this was i'll just open it like that instead of removing the bow it's kind of a booklet and i added like even here you can go and remove this this is all vintage wallpaper pieces so this is what i've done vintage wallpaper pieces there uh, same for here you have a couple this this one those gorgeous flowers and there's there's another pocket here and you have more here so oh, in that pocket so it's kind of a booklet of vintage wallpaper samples to be used or to keep as kind of a ephemera all right so it's included in that pocket an embroidery cluster vintage laces this is from my labels kit so i used a couple within that journal you're gonna see the same paper i did a pocket like that and just added this tag oops i skipped the page I think, yeah this one with a label that has been glued, folded into two and glued on both sides. I love the result. Look at that. It's, it's neat. Another embroidery cluster. Music sheet. And this is a, just a bookmark with grace, a label. The signature as beads and uh, off-white yellowish pink colors a chiffon silk here so it's a simple junk journal and made out of an envelope and uh, it's perfect that i love that size and I included two papers of embossed paper with flowers to be used on pages. And there's two pockets at the back as well. So one of my postcards. And I included that card because we need peace in the world right now. And this one, again, it's going to be in a digital kit that I'm preparing and it's a scan of a vintage well antique envelope actually that you just fold and glue and you cut one of the end and i just included like a little paper there to add something there and uh, i used my wax seal and it says for you for you and so it doesn't open because the opening is on the side but it looks like it really looks like it's it's a real one i love it and again it's that um glassine bag envelope junk journal with wax seals and those gorgeous high heel here they're really cute and a, a, an old telephone and the beads and everything so this is a small bundle just a, this two so i have this bundle here uh, this pink bundle and the aqua blue bundle Thanks for watching. Bye bye.